we got off the topic of wrestling already, so. <laughs> well, like I said, open forum. My... You can you can go right back well, to it. Me, I know me and my brother Greg and uh, are in our family chat are still talking about wrestling and how uh, Undertaker should retire. I mean, the guy that plays him is 60 years old. And uh, <laughs> he goes, I hear you, sis. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he thought that, you know, Bray Wyatt was going to be the next Undertaker. And I'm like, well, he's too short. You know, I mean, when people think of Undertaker, they think of this great, big, huge, tall phenom. And mm -hmm. that's why I think they should, like, replace Undertaker with Kane and make Kane the new Undertaker and then bring someone in to be Kane. The thing about Kane is, though, you got to think about Kane. Kane pretty much has got, what, five or six years behind the Undertaker, so he's roughly around the same age. Uh, yeah. That's, that's and just a fall back and on Kane. And that's, that it's just not going to happen that way. I think what the emphasis would be on would be somebody younger it, it, but, I mean, it takes time. You're not going to reproduce these undertakers or these things anymore. And that's why, you know, this great wave of depression, this cloud of depression uh, is over the wrestling business because they know that someone like The Undertaker just can't be reproduced. Oh, Greg had a really good suggestion. How about uh, Braun Strowman? You know, see, that's what I'm thinking. As, as, as the next Undertaker. I mean, with what you got him doing, especially to Roman Reigns, you should probably run with him at this point. Let him overpower yeah. Kane. Let him overpower The Undertaker. I mean, the difference yeah. with Braun Strowman here is he doesn't have the body or anything, but the man can wrestle. Mm -hmm. The man can wrestle, and you could do you could do a lot more with him that you really couldn't do with Undertaker and Kane. Because if you look at both those two characters, they're really one-dimensional characters as far as how they present themselves. Mm. It would be better for me or Bob to go in and try to end the Undertaker's career because at this at the rate they're going, they're not putting that, they're not putting out anybody to do it. I mean, the last time I was on here, we were debating Triple H versus Jonathan Clark at WrestleMania. If you remember that, and Bob said, you know, they might have to put you in WrestleMania because of the way they're going. You know, it's terrible. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if Triple H were smart and Stephanie were smart, they would hire me to be their consultant. And tell them, you know, that this way I could tell them, I said, your creative needs to come up with something better than that. Yeah, I said, yeah, they need to tweak something, uh, and if they come up with a good idea, I'm going to make sure they do it with the right people. Because they, they really okay, so, don't. Yeah, the greatest honestly, thing, the greatest thing honestly, guys, that honestly, WWE ever did, Angie, was when Edge was targeting to take out everything stupid in WWE. When he, you know, that led me to believe that he was going to take out WWE creative. And that's when I thought, you know, things were really going to pick up in wrestling. But he didn't. He retired before he ever got a chance to spear the, the motivation behind creative. Mm -hmm. And I think the WWE and SmackDown and everything like that, they just need new writers to come up with some oh, better storylines. Yeah. And ever? I, I, I will volunteer for that job, but they better pay me well. <laughs> And that's the worst that's thing about wrestling, that they're not paying out. Bob knows that himself. Wrestling's just not paying out anymore. Uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't depend anymore. If you're on a show with Hulk Hogan or, or Macho Man Randy Savage or you're creating the great storylines, what it comes down to is those zeros that you're putting at the end of the digits for WWE because all Vince McMahon cares about, and Bob knows this himself, are those numbers. If you're not putting out the numbers of a John Cena or a Randy Orton, you're just, you're just not getting over Exactly. You know, and I, exactly. you know, you know, and uh, you know, one thing that uh, Triple H said in an interview is, especially where Stephanie goes, is he said something is, intelligent? No, it's where <laughs> Stephanie goes. Yeah, he said he said something that's very true. Vince McMahon is not going to go against his own daughter. He's not. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's just the way it's going to be. With him, he's not going to go against his own daughter. Uh, where it comes to this, he's going to let his, his daughter get the shot. Personally, you need to become daddy, and you need to tell tell her this is wrong. This is wrong. We need to do we need to do things different. Oh my! Uh, 
That's the smartest thing I've ever heard Triple H say since he took over. He hasn't said anything interesting or intelligent in 10 years. <laughs> yeah, I hear you where that goes. We do have another person uh, it, in here, too. Uh, let's bring them in here. Uh, uh, this this one may uh, sway into a different direction here for a moment, but let's do it anyway here. Let's nah, uh, bring hey, on not this written. one, too. <laughs> hey, how you That's doing? Good morning, Bob. Happy, happy, happy Friday to you, my friend. How you doing, Bob? Doing great, doing great, and uh, good, good, good. I'm just we'll cruising into Minneapolis with a couple strobes for a job. But real quick, um, on wrestling, okay. I grew up with the Crusher, you know, Ham and Eggers. Um, you're, you know, it, I, I get it. It's all fake, and I get all of it. Like the young lady was talking about storyline. Like I said, I could write a movie in, in Gary, Indiana, in an old building. I could do W R W A Real Wrestling Association, okay, and wrestle in old buildings. Uh, with the, I'm sick of telling the apple ass the bolt on boob. Uh, I want to. I, I want. I don't know about wrestling in the ring. If I'm going to watch it, not off the, in, in under the ring, all the BS on the side. It's about wrestling, okay? And I give that that it's fake. But like she said, get someone in that's creative, and he speaks the language of what? Money. We know that. And if the, you know, I guarantee it. Just like a company I work for, we have 25 people in the company that's employee owned that work here. Every single day, my email, I get what the company's making. We have a breakfast meeting every uh, the last Friday of the month, where the owner stands up and says what the employees are, you know, making. Whole point is, just like with your Miami Dolphins, your douchebags, and my cowgirls, and my Pennsylvania Blackhawks, and Jerry Jones, they get every morning what they're making casinos. My point is, when you stop speaking the language of money, of your wrestling, of these bolt-on boobs and apple asses. He'll get the message crystal clear as a chandelier, like in the four fours of horse in Singapore. Uh, I, yeah. it's, it's they need to get away from the apple ass and bolt. I, mean, I like I, I love women. Obviously, I've been I've been married for twenty two years. I get all that big boobs and all that stuff. But wrestle for me for Christ's sake. Move on. You have the characters after three years. Give me something else. Triple H should be uh, working at Burger King. Whoever the hell this guy is, not wrestling yes. anymore. Give give Woo. me three. Move on. Give me gig after two years. Move on. See you later. Next, please. Next, punk up. Next, second, <laughs> punky ball. Next, punk up. You know what I mean? In basketball, next, spelling up. It's Give us something new. It's just like on a podcast. If I sat to my podcast and did, did Bill Clinton's voice every single podcast, yeah, it gets boring after a while. You know? I mix yeah. it in once in a while, have a little fun, blah, 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 and it, it is what it is. But it is. It, it's... You, 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 the only way he's going to speak the language, not English, not Spanish, not Portuguese, it's money. That's the language we speak universal in this country. You're in Mexico, you pour 20 the bill out, uh, you're going to get in the in, in speak easy, okay? No money, no nothing, okay? Hookers speak the language. You get my point, but wrestling's got to go with the apple ass, get the drugs out of it. After two years, the character's done. Give me somebody else. Clean the place up. If he has, if he'll go out, he'll, he'll turn on his daughter. When the money stops coming in, people who listen to this podcast live or wherever you're at will understand. They'll understand. So that's the way I look at it. I get it. I could, yeah. again, make a movie in a building in Gary, Indiana, put it on YouTube, and be creative, like you said. I mean, I, I, we, we could all write a song right now on this podcast and go mm-hmm. verse by verse and put it out. And you can have your own wrestling, RWA, Reality Wrestling Association. And, you're, and let's get reality. And you have the girls on the side, but we don't need to know what they're doing after the fact. Just wrestle, pin them, and be down with it. Bitch, please. Bob, I'm rolling into work here. You have an epic weekend and have a safe day in the outskirts in Minneapolis, in the great state of Minnesota. Go Dolphins. Go Cowgirls. You're going down, Perp, doing tea parties. You're going down. Bitch, please. Later <laughs> on. Oh, man. Awesome. Awesome man, stuff, man. Man, let me tell you something. Wrestling's not fake. <laughs> How many more times are we gonna reiterate this? Wrestling is staged. <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's, it's, chore- it's choreographed. <laughs> Wrestling's not so, fake. And, and choreographed is what I consider fake. I mean, because they plan out their moves and everything like that, so it's not really real. I mean, if you're really gonna wrestle somebody, go in there. Don't plan out your moves or anything like that, and just have it be real. 
And that's never going to happen. We're never going to get to the point of that. As long as we got John Cena coming out looking like Toucan Sam and Ernest P. Whirl with his <laughs> eyes popping out of his head, it's never going to happen because it's too much of a cartoon, family-friendly show anymore. The days of CM Punk are done. Uh, and, and just like we were saying earlier, you know, Sting breaking his neck, Undertaker at 60 years old. I mean, you can't, you just can't rely on anything anymore. I mean, that's, exactly. and, uh, again, you, you bring it up right there. I mean, they went back to something that you really, you know, sometimes you can have success with it, sometimes you can't. Uh, you know, but uh, at this point, at this point, there's, uh, you know, a, you know, yeah, you, you got you you got to find out what what what's big in, in uh, culture. Well, you know what is what is uh, the upcoming culture uh, going to give you, and that's the thing. And you know that and I think yeah, that's the also upcoming... the thing where where where, where people forget too. <laughs> the obvious thing that's coming up in culture now, we had to base it on culture.